More of the essentials. That's the only problem for plant protein. Where else, what, other, what else is a plant protein? Nuts? Nuts are a plant protein. Okay, they're grown underground. All right, some are grown on a tree. All right, but it is also a plant protein, and they usually miss one or more of the essential amino acids. Billy, you see what time it says, how much is left on that battery? Uh, where does it say that? It should be up in the little screen in the corner. Maybe it is on there. Is it still recording? Yeah, it's still okay, recording. Then we're good. Okay, you can get all essential amino acids from plant sources by eating a variety of plant-based foods that are rich in protein. Okay. Spinach, it has some protein in it, plus it's great with vitamin K. I eat a lot of spinach. Uh, quinoa, all right, plant-based grain. Have you eat quinoa? It's really, really good. Believe it or not, I know it sounds funny. B. Rad, do you like quinoa? No. Do you know what it is? Yeah, my mommy. Okay, it's good for you. Really good. Uh, you know who eats quinoa and doesn't eat any red meat or any chicken or turkey? A vegetarian. Tom Brady. A lot of protein. Tom Brady eats quinoa at all of his meals. His diet, the only, the only uh, meat he eats is salmon or fish when he does eat meat. He eats no dairy and he eats no what they call shade. Shade vegetables I think is the term. So like he doesn't eat tomatoes, which I think is crazy. I love tomatoes. But he eats certain things that he doesn't eat, but he's a big quinoa eater. Okay? He has his book out. You can buy it. What's it called? He just came out with his diet. Guess how much it is? It's 220 bucks. I'm not buying a book for 220 dollars at all. 220 bucks. So like he needs more money, but his diet is his diet is kind of fad now. And he says he claims that he changed his eating about four or five years ago, and that's why he feels so much better. That's why he's staying healthier during the season. That's why he thinks he can play until he's 41 or 42, because he's in just such great shape at 39 right now. Plus, he's got a good offensive line, he's not running football, he's not taking a lot of shots in every game. You smack him around a few times, you know, but it, it helps him perform better. He's changed diet, plus he has his own cook and his own food preparer for him and all those things, which makes it. But that's another food rich in protein. So here they are, protein rich plant-based foods, <coughs> grains, all right, we already said that. Different kinds of grains and uh, along with other things, beans, black beans, other beans are another good, that'd be a legume form. Nuts, almonds are really, really good for you. Cashews are good for you. Pistachios, very high in, uh, what's the term I'm looking for? Other word, very high in sodium, or not sodium, uh, potassium, okay? Very high in potassium, so they're good, exerting a lot of energy, a lot of sweat. They're good to reload the potassium in you so you don't cramp, stuff like that. Different kinds of seeds, okay? Uh, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, and then legumes, types of beans. Great plant-based proteins, okay? Now everybody, you know, says, well, you know, where do you get your protein from and stuff because I don't eat much meat or much fish anymore. You know, all those things they eat right there. Uh, nine or 10 grams in every serving of quinoa that I have, a protein. So that's pretty good, and you only need about, I think, on the dietary fiber, what's it say, for 2,000 calories a day. It doesn't have on here. Usually, usually it has proteins on here. It, it'd be somewhere in the area of, of probably 60, 60 grams of protein a day. It doesn't have it on here, roughly, for an average diet. You know, it, it's just kind of like, it's like a puffy rice. It kind of puffs up. It's like a puffy rice, uh, kind of like couscous. Have you ever had couscous? That's a real small, fine Indian rice. Uh, Terrence uh, Franklin's mom, <laughs> or and what's his little sister's name? She's a freshman. Ashley, her mom makes the best spicy couscous and chicken in the world. It's really good. She brought me some at Christmas one time. Spicy chicken and couscous. It was really good. But it's kind of puffy. You can get multicolored. I like the red because like it puffs up better. You can get the brown quinoa. My wife just bought like four boxes from this thrift market that we buy from. Oh yeah, Hy-Vee has it. Uh, she just bought there because it's like half the price. Uh, because it's expensive. Uh, a pound's like eight bucks. 
Okay, but it makes a lot. It makes a lot, and it's good. I put it on my salads. I put it in my soups. I put it in my wraps that I make uh, with uh, avocado and black beans and uh, hummus and vegetables and spinach. So uh, I like it. I never thought I'd like it ever. I like it. Sometimes I'll mix it with black beans and spicy tomatoes and stuff, and then put that in my wrap. It's pretty good. A lot of protein there in it. Okay. So the basic building block material of all your body cells. It doesn't work as fast as carbohydrates for energy, but it can be an energy source. Do you like fish and seafoods have a lot of proteins? Yes, they do. And they have good fats and bad fats. Uh, I love shrimp till I read a little bit more up on it. And I, love, I still eat a little bit of it. Uh, very high in cholesterol. Very high in cholesterol, oh, shrimp does. Shrimp. But I love shrimp, I love it. When we were down in Mexico four years ago, and went and bought it fresh off the boat every day. You get like jumbo shrimp like that for like four dollars a pound. And you give them a two dollar bill and they clean them all for you. I mean, it's just really, really good. Uh, but yes, good source of protein. Salmon's tremendous for protein and good fats. But you want the wild caught salmon. You don't want the farm raised because they they eat off of pellets and they feed them in a pond and stuff. So you want the wild caught salmon, Atlantic, or wherever it's caught, like Michigan catches a lot, and you want wild caught. So, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and stop there. If you haven't read all of two, make sure it's read, and then you can start on three. Ooh, tomorrow, bring your phones and or laptops. We will get everybody into a MyFitnessPal account so we can start keeping your food log on Thursday. I kind of forgot about that, that slipped my mind today. Bill, you wanna go ahead and just stop that, bud? Please.